So now that we've handled getting all the basic HTML along with the text into our pages, we've really got to go back to this problem of creating the structure of the page. And what I mean by that is, if you remember from the wireframes, we really have these three or four discrete areas that we really should describe with the HTML. We've got on the top the header, and then we've got a content area that it sits below that. In that content area, we have sort of main content, which might hold uh, the, the blog or the set of mixes or those sorts of things. And then we have a sidebar that holds related information. And there's really nothing in the HTML right now that in any way describes this. And the reason that's important is because when it comes to styling the page, we're going to want to not only style these different pieces of content separately, but we may want to move them around in terms of creating a layout. And way down the road, we may want to, for instance, dynamically insert content into the page. And to do that, we also need a really good idea of what the structure of the page is. So to do that, we really need some type of HTML which allows us to define a section or a grouping or some way to put this content together and to represent the structure that we see in the wireframe. And the way we do that is through an element you haven't seen yet, which is called a div. And div stands for division, or some people will call it a section, or we often think of it as a container. And so the way we would use a div in this circumstance is if we go back to our wireframe, let's take the header at the top. Well, what we can do is we can take, for instance, the image and the unordered list, and we can embed those within a div element. And so they're actually nested within that div element. And that div element is going to represent that structure we're talking about. Now we can take this a little further. If we look at the content area at the bottom, which contains both that main content area on the left and the sidebar on the right, that grouping, that outer grouping, then what we can do there is we can insert a div as well. And so that div is going to represent the structure of the bottom content area. Taking it even further, we can separate this both into the left content area where we can put a div, as well as putting a div around the sidebar. And so think of these divs as creating the internal structure in the HTML, which match the structure that we originally had in this wireframe. Now, just from this basic explanation, this may not be entirely clear to you. So what we should do right now is let's go to HTML and let's get some of these divs into our HTML page. And then we can start to get a better feel for how these actually work. And again, this feels a little abstract to you right now. That's okay because it actually is. But as we use them, you're gonna see how these divs work and how they're used within HTML.